so let's take a look at how we can use counters to subtract integers. Let's start with the basics. You already know about subtraction, and it's the skill of taking away from a group. Subtraction is found by understanding the difference between two numbers. So in our first problem, we have four take away three. And we know this four is positive, so we can use our integer toolbox to drag out four positives. Now, next, we're going to look at our second integer and subtract. We are going to take away three. We have enough positives to take away, so we don't need to do anything except cross out these three positives. And we're left with one positive. All right, so now that we've done that, we can think about subtracting as removing those counters. Let's look at another situation. This time, we're gonna have negative five take away negative two. Hmm, well, let's see, we're gonna start with negative five, so we're gonna drag over five red integer counters. One, two, three, four, five. So now that I have five negatives, can I take away two negatives? Yes, I can, yes, I can. Let's take away two of these, one, two. What's left? Three negatives. So negative five take away negative two is negative three. Boom, ready for another situation? All right, so now I have four positives. Let's pull that out of our integer toolbox. And I am going to take away six. Hmm, looks like I only have four. I don't have enough to take away six positives. So when you don't have enough, you can use what is called a zero pair. It is a zero pair because a positive and a negative make zero. If you have one positive and you have one negative, it is equal to zero. So I'll do, add two of these so that way I have now six positives. See, I have one, I can take away. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I started with four. I took away six positive. What's left? Two negative. And that makes sense. So imagine going to the store with only four dollars and you want to buy something that's six, that is six. You might need to borrow from your parent or friend two more dollars. So now you owe two dollars. So our answer is negative two. Okay, let's continue. This time we're going to start with you got it, negative eight. So I'm gonna drag over negative eight counters. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm going to take away four. Hmm. This isn't negative four, and I don't have any positives. So remember, we can always use a zero pair when we don't have enough. So I'm gonna add four zero pairs because I need to take away four positives. One, two, three, four. Okay. And let's cross out those four positives that we're taking away. One, two, three, four, and all that's left is negatives. Let's see how many negatives we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So negative eight take away four is negative 12. All right, one more. This time we're gonna start with you got it, four positives. Okay. 
and I'm going to take away negative 2. I don't have any negative 2's here, so I'm going to have to add, that's right, two zero pairs. There's one, and there's two. Now I can take away two negatives, and remember, what's left is my answer. So I have six positives. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much. Don't forget to check out our other video on adding integers with counters.